Hey, good evening. How are you? Fine. Thanks and you, Edwin. Fine. Thank you. Did you have a good weekend, Cecilia? Um, was great because I rest a lot. Ah, that's great. Did you stay in the <laughs> house? Yes. Okay. Watch TV, um, but I am studying. You study English. Mm -hmm. Yes, English. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But uh, I have a trouble without um, lit with the meter. The oh, really? last mm -hmm. letter, yes. Still the letter, the last letter G, right? Yes. Yes. Don't, okay. Don't worry. We'll fix it today. Uh huh. First, okay, good. But I'm glad that you studied some English. That's important. Yes, I did it. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. What about uh, anybody else? Let's see. Uh, Fatima, how was your weekend? My weekend was very busy. Because... Oh, what happened, Fatima? Mm -hmm. I I subscribe in a course about uh, soap. How do you say jabón? Soap. Soap. Glycerin soap. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. And I learn a little. And did you like it? Do you like the course about soap? Uh, I have curiosity. Okay. Only for curiosity, or maybe in the future for her hobby. Okay. And right now, only one, only one class, and that's it. You're not going to do anything else. Two classes, two Saturdays in the afternoon. Basic level and intermediate level. Okay. That's Okay, okay. That's very fast to, it's not complicated to make soap and then. Yes, I think the same. Mm -hmm, because only two classes? Imagine basic class, one class, and then intermediate. And that's for it. our, for mm -hmm. level. Yeah, no, okay. But it's good, it's good to know a little information about things. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, Yancy, how about you? How was your weekend? It was great, mister. Yes, it was great. Okay, good, why? What happened? I um, stay, stayed in my house <laughs> with my family and, and go to, the, I went to the church and I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay. okay. Yes. That's important. Yes. Good. It's good that you had the opportunity to go to church and you liked it. Yeah. Good. All right. Perfect. So, as you know, that's the idea. The idea is with your partners, you catch up a little bit, you ask questions, you ask questions in the past, what happened, why are you happy, or where did you go, or all of the different types of questions, right? So right now we're going to make a few groups and with those groups, we're going to practice just a few minutes to help us remember our past tense and ask any questions. Um, before we begin, I know that it, somebody mentioned that they still had a problem with unit three in the midterm. That unit three, they had a problem with letter G, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to solve it and we're going to make sure. Uh, and it, the, the office hasn't been able to solve it, so we're going to go ahead and do it ourselves. That's not a problem, okay? So I'll put up the answers, and then we can see. And, well, we hope that they'll fix it sometime in the future. But if not, the important is that we continue advancing. Before we go, any other questions or comments or anything else? Okay. Okay, then let's go ahead and make our groups. Mm -hmm. 
for a moment. Mm, that's it. Okay. What happened, Delmi? Eh, podría enviar la invitación otra vez, por favor. Uh, one moment, Delmi. Te voy a mandar a otro salón, entonces. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me what happened. No, no pudiste unirte. No, eso no, no me apareció ninguna invitación. Ok, vamos a intentar otra vez. Vamos a cambiarte entonces. Ok, ya. Pues sí. Carlos. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Carlos. I'll put you in the group. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, uh, a little sick today because I have a uh, headache, and so, but we need to be in class. Okay. Uh, what is the activity? Because is in your group. You're talking about your weekend. Okay. Thank you. Sir. You're welcome. Ineda, are you having problems joining the group?
Everson. Hola, hola. Hola, hola, Everson. How Disculpe, are you? No. Bien, gracias a Dios. ¿Y usted? Ah, uh, I don't speak Spanish, Emerson. What happened? What happened, Emerson? <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> That's okay. We don't advance with lazy. <laughs> okay. No problem, Emerson. How was your weekend? Uh, not bad. Thanks, God. Thanks, That's... Lord. Okay. Thanks That's Lord. right. Thanks, the Lord. Thank the Thanks Lord. Lord. It's not normal in English, but if you like, you use. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. And what did you do? Uh, I'm I'm very. What are you doing, or what you do do? No. What did you do? Como hice? No. O como estoy? No. 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 Emerson. No. No Spanish. Look. Listen. What did you do? Did for past. Remember. Did for past. Emerson. It's in the chat, Emerson, so you can see to help you. Okay. Escriba. How did what did you do? Que hiciste? Me confundo, profe. Discúlpeme. No, no, relax, Everson. Relax. It's es okay. Que como, es que como how do you do es como cómo está, verdad? Uh, more or less. It's not normal, but yes, it's correct. Uh -huh. How it's do you do? Uh huh. It's like in Spanish, que uvale. It doesn't Ajá, exist, but... Como but hacer. It. Uh -huh. Y usted me está preguntando, what do you do? Correct. What do you do what? You said the weekend was busy. I said, what did you do? Mm, yeah, I I work at Claro. Uh -huh. I'm seller. I'm seller of, of service like internet, and iPhone, iPhone. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice teléfono? En realidad, teléfono fijo. Ah, anybody know how do you say teléfono? Phone house. Telephone. Ah, interesting. Very good. The, the name is landline. Landline. La uh, landline. Okay. Landline. Puede escribirlo, profe. Line. Hasta, hasta ya lo están copiando los demás, Everson. Yeah, he worked on the chat. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Nothing interesting, but yes. Okay, that's good. Good job. Good job. Well, guys, it's good. So today we're going to go ahead and continue. Um, we're going to first start off with exercise six from the exam. The read the article. In the midterm exam, I think there's a problem and the office hasn't been able to fix it. So today I'm going to share with you the answer so that way it's clear. Because this the this article is not the article for this answer. Okay. So please take a screenshot or copy, and then that way you can answer your midterm correctly. These are the correct answers for the midterm reading section. Okay, and sleep. Yes. Sleep less and sleep more. Correct. Uh huh. Both. Both. How, how you can do the both things? <laughs> ah, it depends. For example, <laughs> sleep less depends because it says suggested the writer should do. Maybe is sleep less in some situations and sleep more in different situations. Uh, okay. Uh huh. But we don't have the article. That's why it's difficult for us to see. Yeah. Profe, verdad que left is menos, verdad? Less. Uh huh. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Gracias. Hey, that that person had to do that, but oh no, at the same time. <laughs> Maybe not at the same time. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Maybe the idea is sleep more hours, but sleep le sleep less naps. For example, I don't know. We have to see that the the article. But everybody did everybody copy? If not, it's in the WhatsApp. Don't worry. If you didn't copy, it's in the WhatsApp also. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, but, the idea was to make sure that it's okay 
for you to pass with good grades. Now we're going to go ahead and continue with unit four. Unit four, last week we were with adjectives. Remember the adjectives? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. We had the adjectives for the different ones. Remember here we had, uh, for example, the two that the people had confusion was number nine and 10, but it's always for EST for all of the world. When you compare for three or more is the most or the, the most least or the EST, right? That's the most important. Yes. Today we're going to continue with our adjectives describing people and asking, right? So here, first we're going to learn how to sound natural, okay? How to sound natural when making questions. Here we're going to listen. Hi, in this class we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation, questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? So what is the important? The idea is that in the first option, no, no. you always have a high intonation, which is big, right? And then you go Bangkok, the first. Or if you have three or more, always the first ones are up, up the intonation. Only the last one you have, the intonation goes down. Mm -hmm. So everybody, let's try. Which city is bigger? Which city is bigger? Bangkok? Bangkok? Or Beirut? Or Beirut. Or Beirut. Okay. Which country is the most interesting? Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Korea, yeah, yeah. Brazil, 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 or Greece, or Greece. Or Greece. Or Greece. The, the last is down. The last is down. Exactly. If I have five, Greece. and the five go up, and the or the four go up, and the last goes down. Right. Always the last one goes down. The last one goes down. Okay. 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 That's the idea to help us only with a little bit of pronunciation because today we're going to continue. We're going to be talking about the distance and measurements, distance and measurements. Here we have a small video. Oops, let me see. Yes, distance and measurements. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay, so Did you get it? That's right. Um, let's take a look. They're making a lot of measurements and distances. But first, let's take a look. Are there any words you don't know? Auckland. Auckland is the name, the name of the city. Oh, What is the pronunciation of mountain? Mount. Here is mount. The, no mountain. The name is Mount no, Cook. And the, the very mountain. Here? Mountain. No. Mountain. Mountain. Ah, here. Mountainous. 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 Correct. Mountainous. 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 
mountains. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Montañoso. It's montañoso, no? Correct, Yancy. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what is measurements? Measurements is, for example, the measurements are the, the distance or the time, the height. This is the measurement. Like for a shirt, when you make a shirt, they measure. They say, ah, one meter, 30 centimeters, 20 meters. These are the measurements. Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's listen one more time for the pronunciation and then we practice with our partners. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen to the pronunciation of the numbers, okay? Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay. Were there any other questions, words? No. Uh, uh, when Scott asked to bet if she is from Australia, she said, actually, what's I mean actually? Actually is like, for example, uh, in reality or really, really I am from New Zealand. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, synonymous. Similar, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Definitely. You're welcome. Okay. You guys ready? So now with our partners, we are going to practice. Remember, the idea is two times, right? One time we practice Scott, one time we practice the idea from uh, Beth, and then we change, then Beth, and then Scott. Okay. <laughs> Yes, you ready? Yes, we are. Yeah. Only the number, Mr. Three Milo? No, three. Here we have eight. the number is 3,000. 3,800. Eight, 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 Correct, 3,800. 3,800. And here the number is 2,000. 2,000. Mm -hmm. 2,000. No. Two thousand. 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 Correct. Two thousand. Two thousand. Correct. Mm -hmm. So three thousand eight hundred. Two thousand. Okay. We're okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. So with our partners, let's practice a little bit the idea. Eugenia, you okay? Eugenia?
Okay. Any questions? This moment, no. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to practice and we're going to create our own sentences. We're going to create our conversation with our partner, okay? We can use that story. We can use those things um, as an example, but nice. we are going to create our own. So for example, I can say, uh, for example, um, let's see, Carlos, Carlos Membraño, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Uh -huh, but where? I, I live in San Marcos. San Marcos, oh, yes. I'm going to visit San Marcos next Sunday. Uh, oh. Are you are you far from uh, San Salvador? Uh, really not. Uh, San Marcos is uh, is uh, ten kilometers from San Salvador. Ten oh, or fifteen. Oh, it's very close. Yes. Okay. And how far is La Libertad from San Marcos? La Libertad. I, um, I I think the La Libertad is a. Uh, 20 or 25 kilometers from San Marcos. Okay, well, maybe I will visit La Libertad also. That's it. Very good. Okay. Very good. That's it. You and your partner, you create San Marcos, Santana, San Juan Pico, eh, I don't know, San Miguel, La Huachapan, wherever you are from. La Palma, you can create whatever conversation. But the important is you create question and answer. Use the numbers, use the vocabulary, kilometers, meters. Ah, oh, okay. I, I continue with Carlos. Carlos, I see the volcano of San Salvador is very big. Mm -hmm. How oh. do you say kilometer? Kilometer. Kilometers. Kilometers. Correct, kilometers. Kilometers. Mm -hmm. Hey, Carlos. How high are the volcano of San Salvador? How high is the volcano of San Salvador? Oh, it's, it's, the volcano is really high. It's, it's, you have that 1,500 meters over the sea. Exactly. You see, you can put, ah, whatever. Oh, the eh, eh, Chaparastique, eh, Santana volcano, whatever you want. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw La Catedral de San Salvador is very high. How high is La Catedral? You is your invention, your creation. You ready? Yes. You and your partner, four minutes. Four minutes, quickly prepare a presentation and then present. No, ay, esperame, lo voy a escribir. Ay, esperame. No, 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 no. Here you are to speak, 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 and then let's go. Yes, let's go. Tell me a neda. Tell me what happened.
Okay, you ready? Let's begin. Let's take a look. Cecilia and Stephanie. Okay, Liv. Ceci? How are you, Stephanie? I am fine, and you, Ceci? I'm fine, too. And I want to ask you, where are you from? Okay. Uh, I live in Acajut, like Kilo Cinco. And where did you born? Where what? were you born? Could you where repeat, you please? Born? Where did you born? Where were oh, you born? Okay, I, I, I born in San Salvador. Ah, why do you live in Acajutla? Yes, my mother is is the Acajutla. <laughs> Excuse me, Stephanie. My mother is is the in, in my mother is the Acajutla. Oh, okay. Yes. And how how many kilometers are to Acajutla from San Salvador to Acajutla? Um, I think that a a three. 80,000 kilometers, I think. <laughs> 85, maybe. <laughs> 85, maybe. <laughs> okay, Stephanie, I am from San Juan Opico, but I live in San Salvador. Um, do you... Where do you? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, no worry, no worry. Very good, good job, good job. Very nice. Look in the chat. In the chat, you can see the mistakes that need to be corrected. First is nowhere did you born. The question is where were you born? And the same, the answer. Where were you born? Where uh -huh. were you born? Correct. And the answer, no, I born is I was born. Right? The answer, I was born. Uh -huh. okay. okay. My okay. mother, Acajutla, no, my mother is from Acajutla. My mother is from Acajutla. And 80,000 kilometers, or my, it's a big <laughs> distance. It's, it's, it's around the planet. Maybe a maybe a I forget, please. Uh, no problem, no problem. That's why we practice. Very good, very good. Excellent, Ceci. All right. So let's go. Daniel and Carla. Next. Daniel and Carla. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Hi, Carla. Everything fine. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from, you from El Salvador, but I live in Santa Ana. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I think going to Santa Ana. Do you know Santa Ana? Yeah. Okay. Do you know Carla. very well Santa Ana or so so? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, uh, how far is how far is Santa Ana from Lake Coatepec? Uh, I don't I don't drive, but I think. Uh, Maybe uh, 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers? Well, yeah. it's very, may it's very I can... close. Oh, may I can some restaurant? Yes, uh, in, in, this... light, uh, in Lake of Cuatepeque, we are, are very uh, restaurant. Um, do you know Pampa, <laughs> the, uh, Lake of Cuatepeque? No. And do you know um, Rancho Alegre? Yeah. Uh, it's very, the food is very delicious. And where do you live? I live in San Martin. Uh, how far is San Martin uh, of Santa Ana? 
Uh, I think 50 kilometers. Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more. I don't know. I don't I know. Think. I don't have like, a good <laughs> idea, but I think that 50 kilometers. Okay, and do you work in San Martin or in San Salvador? No, I work in San Salvador. Okay, how far is uh, uh, your work in your uh, house? Um, I think 10 kilometers, 20, 20 kilometers. Okay, very good, okay. Carla. Very good, guys. Very good, Daniel. Excellent. Nice. The important is practicing. Maybe not the numbers, but it's an idea, an idea, right? Very sí. good, very good. En realidad no tenía ni idea de cuánto es la distancia, pero pues por poner el ejercicio hay que poner un dato. Mm -hmm. Inventar. <laughs> exactly, que exactly. That's the idea. So don't worry, Daniel. It's good, more or less. Now it's time for Everson and Fatima. Okay, I'm here. Let's start, Fatima. Okay. And hi, well, Everson. Hi, Fatima. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Uh, not bad. Uh, where are yeah. you from? I am from San Salvador, but I grew, grew up in, in Ciudad Barrio San Miguel. Oh, I can see. And how far is how far is placed the, there? From San Salvador. Yeah. Uh, maybe one hundred meter, one hundred kilometers. Oh, I can see one kilometers. One hundred. One hundred meters. Kilometers. Oh, okay, it's very far. Yes, it's very far. I am going to Family Park in La Union, but it's far too. Do you oh, know okay. how far is uh, La Union from San Miguel? Mm, I don't know exactly, but I can test our uh, two... 2,000 kilometers? I don't know exactly, but I'm <laughs> testing. Okay, and you know how far is the family park from Conchagua, the, the city most populated of oh, La Union? I think, I think it's very close because it, it's in the same department. It's very close. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Okay. All right. Very good, Fatima. Very good, guys. Very. It's a good job, Everson and Fatima. Good. This is the idea. Have a conversation. Have the fluency. Excellent. Eugenia and Moreno. Morena. Sorry, Eugenia and Morena. <laughs> Hi, Eugenia. Hi, Morena. How are you? I am fine. And you? I'm fine. Uh, where are you from, Morena? I'm from in El Salvador, and I live in San Miguel. And you? Really? Oh, well, I was born in Sulutan, so we were really next. Uh, but I have 30 years I immigrated to San Salvador, so I'm very far. Oh, why? Oh, family things. Oh, <laughs> oh my family. Don't like uh, the, this town? Mm. You don't like this town? Nah. <laughs> yeah, San Salvador, I, I miss the Sultan a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> uh, sometimes I go, but it's, uh, um, <laughs> it's uh, something far. So playful little bit far from San Salvador. So we use like uh, three hours to go there. It's, uh, it's uh, like big sense to record. So 
114 kilometers from San Salvador. So driving is very far. <laughs> Is very far. But, yeah, but cool. we could be very near because uh, Osiluta and San Miguel is just uh, 24 kilometers. Yeah, so it's it very is, near. It's very near. I am yes. bad for calculate distance. <laughs> I don't okay. know. <laughs> very good, Henia. Very good, Morena. Really good, good, okay. good. Excellent, excellent job. Very Thank nice. You. You're welcome. Good job, girls. Good job. Y eso okay. es bien Thank salvadoreño. You. Ve muy salvadoreño cuando uno dice, hey, hey, ¿qué, ¿qué tan lejos es de aquí a, a Cajutla? Aquí a San Miguel. Ah, tres horas. Cuatro horas. O sea, no, no, dicen la, no dicen la distancia, dicen el tiempo. Ah, ¿y qué tan lejos es para ir a, a San Martín, a San Marto? Ah, como 20 minutos. En <risa> the kilómetros desaparecieron. Entonces, Creo que por lo mismo no podemos calcular distancia. Ajá. No, no, ni por lo mismo ni podemos Bien, decir. Bus, que de la gente, te, te, te aseguro, le pregunta aquí el grupo y la mayoría ni saben las cinco cuadras alrededor de su calle. Exacto. Entonces, no Exacto. saben cómo se llaman. Pero tú dices, pero tú dices, 15 minutos aquí y tú dices, oh, no es tan Exacto. En bus. En dos horas. En dos horas. En dos That's right. All right. Let's continue. Uh, let's see who's next. Next is Carlos and Stephanie. Okay. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I am very fine. Thank you. Where are you from, Stephanie? I am from San Salvador. And you? I am from San Marcos. You oh, are really? the nearest from my home. Yes. I, I think the San Marcos from San Salvador about 15 kilometers. Yes, it's too near. What yes. kind of places can I visit there in San Marcos? San Marcos have a, one mall and this mall have a McDonald's. You can visit this place. <laughs> Yeah, how far is the mall from your house? I really need it. It's about 500 meters. Oh, I, I... It's, it's really near. Yes. And what, what's the place I can visit in San Salvador? Uh, here you can visit a uh, Parque Cuscatlan, uh, Team Marin, or Metro Centro. Oh, really good. How big is the park, Cuscatlan? It's about uh, 2,000 meters. Oh, it's, the, it's really big. Yes, it is. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> all, right, all right, very good, good job, very good. All right. So remember, is San Carl? San, sorry, San Marcos has a mall. San Marcos has a mall. No, okay. And it's okay. always up. good. And two thousand meters is two kilometers. Yes. Okay. So the park. Yes, for just just yes, to give a, a a measurement. Okay. No problem. No problem. Just checking. Because the idea is also to be logical, the measurement, right? It's okay, okay. you don't have the exact date, but it's two, two kilometers, maybe, I don't know. I don't go to the park. But it's, it's maybe it's like uh, the park in San Salvador or the park in La Libertad that um, is a big park. It's a bicentenario. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, okay, all right. Let's see, Angelica and Yancy. Angelica and Yancy, you are next. Okay. Hello, Angelica. Hello, Jansi. How are you? Live? <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Where do you live? I live in Sonsonate. Sonsonate. And you? Uh, in Zacatecoluca. You live in next, no, near to Isalco? Uh, yes. Uh, 
15 minutes. <laughs> 20, 20 minutes? 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, I have a problem. My family will come from, the, my family come for a trip to El Salvador. And what place do you suggest they visit to in Sonsonate? Um, what do you suggest? The uh, road of the flowers and beach and uh, Los Cobanos and the park Nahuizalco and Metro, Metro Centro. Okay, <laughs> Metro Centro. I, how about, how about the food in Sonsonate? What is the most um, special for Sonsonate for it? Um, food, um, pupusas, pupusas, and yuca, yuca, um, um, Oh, uh, the green coconuts, coconuts. Coconuts, okay. Okay, oh. good, very good. So the idea is that, very nice. Remember, look in the chat and then it can help you. We have, uh, do you live for the question, not you live. Remember, you live in Sonsonate is not question, it's a sentence. So you have to say, do you live in Sonsonate? Do you live in San Marcos? And what food is the special to eat, not for eat? Okay. okay. <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right. Let's go. We have two more groups. We have Delmi and Maybelline. Hi, Delmi. Desde que estábamos en el grupo, hay algunos que tenían mala conexión, no sé si. Ah, ok, ok. How are you? Fine, and you, este, sorry, eh, se me traba por ratitos y como que al... okay, llega el mensaje otra vez. <laughs> Okay, okay, Delmi, don't worry, don't worry. You have problems, it's okay. We continue with Edwin and Karen. Edwin and Karen, no problem. Okay. Hi, Karen. Hi, Edwin. Where are you from? I, I'm from in Cojutepeque. Really? I didn't know that. How high is the Las Pavas Hill? I think is the... Uh, 265 meters. Ah, okay. It's a beautiful place. Yes. And it's, a, it's a really uh, beautiful. Yes. How big is Cojutepeque? It's not big. It's uh, maybe 40 square kilometers. Ah, okay. And how far is the Ilopango Lake from Cojutepeque? I, I think it's uh, 20 kilometers. Ah, okay. It's, uh, it's uh, big. Actually, the, the Cerveles Babas, you see the lake. Yes, um, lake. Um, it looks beautiful. Yes. How cold is Cojutepeque? Um, down is a very cold, but in the afternoon is almost always uh, 26 degree. Ah, okay. And uh, how far? Sorry. And, uh, how far is San Vicente from Cojutepeque? I'm not sure, but I think it's um, maybe 30 kilometers. Oh, it's near. Yes. Okay, that's all. All right, good job. You see, super easy, super easy. The important is very nice to everybody. Good job, everyone. The important is that you are practicing and you are getting more confidence to speak naturally, to use the vocabulary naturally. Now we're going to continue 
and we are going to see how to make questions with the idea with how. In the next one, we're going to see the question how. We have many different questions that we can use with how. Here, let's listen. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time, we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big? Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Okay, so let's look and make sure that it's clear. First, look at all of the how how, how far, how big, how high, how deep, how long, how hot, how cold. Do you understand the questions with how? Altura. The, depend the question. Altura yeah. is how, how deep. How, high. how, how high. deep? How high. How, how deep? How deep? How deep? How profundo. Deep. Deep profundo. Down, correct. It's oh, going down. No, no. Deep is the opposite of high. Mm -hmm. uh, the other words are okay? Yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. So you can see always you use how, and then we use the adjective, right? And it's different, the answers, but it's different measurements. It's for things like distance, uh, temperature, the different kilometers, the long, different things. Tomorrow, we're going to practice how to make questions with how and create our conversations, okay? But today, remember, today was the distance and measurements and how to make the questions for the pronunciation. Any can, yes? Yes, I have a question. Yes, I, I, I can say how long but I, I can say how short it. Yes, you can say how long and you can say the question how short. Ah, okay. Thanks. The two are correct. Mm -hmm. Like how small? Correct. You can say how small or how big. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. How funny was your weekend? <laughs> no, this you cannot say. <laughs> 
because funny is different because funny is mm -hmm. not uh, okay. no is not divertido es chistoso okay fun is um, divertido uh, how fun how fun uh huh okay how fun was your weekend correct okay mm -hmm. it's very good question because it's very common in Spanish ah funny but no funny is chistoso pepito fun is ah. divertido mm -hmm. okay sure. so we are going to pause and tomorrow we continue again with more activities okay 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 okay, All right. okay. super fast have a good night thank you so much for connecting i see you tomorrow okay see you, see you tomorrow okay. everyone good night good night good night, good night. Good night.